Well, we're nearing the end of the road on the Eventbrite Ticket's new user primer, and I'm hoping that by this point you feel pretty confident with how the plugin works. We've already seen what it's like to import a live event from Eventbrite into WordPress in screencast number three, and what it's like to create a draft from the WordPress side and send it over to Eventbrite in screencast number two. In this one, we're going to go back to a draft that looks very similar to what we created in screencast number two, and we're simply going to publish it here on the WordPress side so that it goes live both on WordPress and Eventbrite. This will be handy for you if down the road you ever set up events in draft format before you actually send them live, so that you can see that it is more than just a process of making the event published. There is a little bit of an extra step here, and I want you to make sure that when you are turning your events live, you know what you're doing. Again, this should be pretty intuitive by now, but I want to make sure you're covered. So let's go into the events page, the backend events list where we have our draft posts, because I know that I've got this saved as a draft. It's Rob Solstice Party for All, and I'm going to go edit it, and I'm going to take a look at a couple things. Right off the bat, we do know that it is in draft on the Eventbrite side because we see this red message up top. So that should tell me immediately, okay, this is an Eventbrite event. I need to make it live to make it a truly public Eventbrite event, but it is currently hooked. Notice it is in draft on the WordPress side, and so we're in draft in both locations. And we get down down below, we now have all these options that we saw a little bit in the last two screencasts. Leave it associated with Eventbrite, display the tickets on the event page, and more importantly, the Eventbrite event status. It is in draft. I can either make it live, or I can leave it as draft. What I want to do, and I can do a number of things here, is push this event to be public. I can make it public just on Eventbrite side, but still private and unpublished on the WordPress side. I can publish the WordPress event so that it is published on WordPress, but still draft on Eventbrite and thus no tickets are displaying. I have control. I could do one, I could do both, or I could do either. Whichever I want to do is my option, so I'm just going to come right down here, and in this case, I'm going to actually make both go live. I want to have the event published on my WordPress side and live on Eventbrite so the people who visit it on WordPress can buy a ticket. In that case, it does need to obviously be live in both locations. So let's change this to live and let's go up here and hit publish. Let it work for a second, since it is making the change both here on WordPress and on Eventbrite. And when it finishes, the red bar is gone. If we scroll down, we should now see that the event is indeed live on the Eventbrite side, and it is. Notice that this dropdown has changed a little bit. While previously it just said draft and live, I now can also cancel it. I can cancel the event on the Eventbrite side, and I cannot undo that. So let's say you want to get rid of an event that is canceled and that is no longer taking place. You don't have to go to both locations. You can just come in here, hit canceled here, change the status of this post to draft, and then it'll be off the site. Your users will be none the wiser. I don't want to do that right now, though, because I just published this. What I want to do is actually check it out. Right now, if I go to the front end, I should see the tickets displayed on the front end of the site. I'm going to click through, go view Rob's Solstice Party for All, and if we scroll down underneath the metadata, underneath the venue, etc., we should see an iframe that pulls in the Eventbrite information. Indeed, we're seeing it, and it shows the one type of ticket I have available. Looks like ticket sales haven't yet started. When they do go on sale, they're going to be 15 bucks with a $1.37 fee. The quantity will become available and will no longer say NA once ticket sales go on, on sale. And if I want to view more about what this description for the adult's ticket is, I can hit this More Info. Once tickets are on sale, the purchase process is entirely handled by Eventbrite. So once somebody begins this and goes through the checkout, that's going to be on Eventbrite's side. We don't have any control over that. It is going to take you off site to deal with Eventbrite. And so if you encounter problems along those lines, you're going to want to bring it up with them. What we're really doing is just giving you an avenue to display your tickets from Eventbrite easily on your event site and have it so that somebody who comes to view that event can buy a ticket if they wish to. If you still have questions after reviewing this, we're happy to help you out. Please do make sure you've checked out our documentation, and if you haven't, go check out the support forum for the Eventbrite Tickets add-on, and our team would be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again for watching these screencasts, and thanks again for your purchase.